that uh, considering about uh, uh, metallocene non benzenoic compounds and polycyclic compounds we have already finished metallocene and our monocyclic compounds so we proceed further with bicyclic compounds now bicyclic compounds are actually of three types one is spiral uh, second is fused and third is bridged now what we have to study in our syllabus is only fused uh, bicyclic compounds so we shall be taking example of fused bicyclic compound so our compound amongst the fused bicyclic compounds is azulines now as you can see the very beautiful picture here is shown of blue colored uh, mushrooms which are the lactarius indigo mushroom and they get their blue coloration from a derivative of azulene once the compound is isolated from any of the natural sources it looks like uh, the uh, next picture there and it gives a very blue beautiful blue color on isolation get into the details of our bicyclo 530 deca pentaene which is our azulene it is commonly known as azulene first let's see the name and understand it bicyclo two cycles five one ring amongst the two cycles is having five carbon atoms you can also see the diagram and follow the diagram along as i explain the name to you so one uh, ring of the bicycle is having five carbon atoms second ring of the bicycle is having three carbon atoms and zero is on the wall of fusion now wall of fusion is having two carbon atoms which are actually the uh, uh, part of the whole structure without these two carbon atoms there would not have been bicyclic compound so these two carbon atoms are necessary to make the wall of fusion otherwise there is no spare carbon atom other than the two carbon atoms that are a part of wall of fusion that is why it is written zero here all right moving ahead the chemical formula is c10h8 and uh, this is an isomer that is azulene is an isomer of naphthalene and has a similar odor but instead of white its crystals are dark blue as i had already shown you in the earlier figure because azul a z u l azul is the spanish word for blue that is why it is called azulene so blue colored compounds with the azulene structure they uh, have been known for 6 centuries azulene itself was synthesized from octahedro naphthalene by sus and platner and his friends uh, and they synthesized it from indane in along the later uh, parts of the 1942 uh, years now azulene is uh, a 10 pi electron uh, system and uh, the 10 pi electron system of azulene helps it to qualify as an aromatic compound so similar to aromatics that contain benzene rings azulene also undergoes reactions such as your uh, fiddle craft substitutions and so on and uh, like the cyclopentadienyl anion and cycloheptatrienyl uh, cation the, it forms pi complexes with metals such as molybdenum and iron actually what i am describing here is the two ions uh, which are part of azulene so so azulene constitutes of cyclopentadiene anion uh, which is uh, a negative ion and is aromatic in nature and it constitutes of cycloheptatriene 
cat iron which is a positive iron and it is also aromatic in nature that is how azulene gets its aromatic character how these two electrons uh, these two ions come into play that has been already shown in the blue box and along with their resonating structures now uh, uh, as we are considering uh, resonance now uh, without the ionic uh, forms also azulene uh, shows resonance so this resonance uh, kind of thing for azulene is depicted in the green box where the shift of double bond easily uh, gives two resonating structures and that is the cause of the stability good stability of azulene so uh, moving um, uh, further in the description of azulenes uh, they are we have already seen that they are aromatic bicyclic isomers of naphthalene you can also see that in the diagram now it is also a non alternate hydrocarbon non alternate hydrocarbons uh, invariably feature at least one ring which is constructed with an odd number of carbon atoms as we can see our uh, two rings are constructed both the rings are constructed with odd number of carbon atoms so um, contrary to non alternate hydrocarbons i would also like to tell you that the counterpart of it is alternate hydrocarbon so an alternate hydrocarbon is any conjugated hydrocarbon system which does not possess an odd member ring and it is also uh, our compound this azulene is a non benzenoid uh, hydrocarbon all right so uh, now uh, moving further i would like to tell you that our uh, one ring that is the delocalization of azulene gives one electron deficient seven membered ring and one electron rich five membered ring and because of this uh, electron deficiency and electron rich rings it gains huckel's aromatic stabilization this we had already discussed earlier now uh, one more very important striking feature about azulene is the uh, not obeying it is an exception of kasha's rule now american molecular spectroscopist michael kasha he gave a very striking and very important rule that is kasha's rule kasha's rule says that the uh, whenever there is and it it explains fluorescence so uh, kasha's rule explains fluorescence by saying that when you grant energy to any uh, electron it undergoes transition from zero state to first state and then from first state to second state likewise and when uh, the source of energy is removed then it moves back from second state to first state and first stage to the ground stage that is zero state so how is azulene an exception to it so uh, azulene has a emission fluorescence emission from s2 to s0 directly that is from second state to the ground state escaping the state 1 i have also shown that naphthalene you can see in the side figure naphthalene when it is showing fluorescence emission it is moving from s1 to s0 whereas azulene i have shown in that diagram that it is moving from s2 to s0 so this is a consequence of the unusually high energy gap between s2 and s1 in azulene and this results in slow internal conversion between these levels as you can see that in naphthalene where s1 corresponds azulenes s2 is a little lower than the s1 of naphthalene so that can easily be understood why azulene shows s2 to s0 fluorescence emission so that is why azulene is termed as an exception of kasha's rule 
So I hope you have found Azuleen's very, very interesting. And uh, further of it, we shall deal in my next class. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, and I shall see you soon. Bye-bye, everybody.